what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nathan it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. I could do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Huh. Not much to see here. Well, ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. For a look. You got you something, look kid? Cave behind the waterfall. No shit. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Uh, let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. <laughs> ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward.
Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 four four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I'll bet we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch. Hang on tight. Oh, hey. shit. You take this slow. Yeah. yeah. So, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, too, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure, maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. Go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's. Christopher Condon's sigil is uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Some big plans for this winch. <laughs> there, that ought to do it. Oh, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Ha <laughs> ha! 
See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor. Patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah. Well, still taking a long time. Would you look at that? Oh shit! Stop! Stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You do have the drop on. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead.
Okay. I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Like Nadine hasn't given up on excavation by explosions. Rafe can't be happy about that. I don't think Rafe has much of a say in Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Prison, a lot of books. Jesus, these pirates really need to work on their infrastructure. Now, how do we get out of here? One down, one to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off.
Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than Rafe? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. So Rafe's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. He's thinking the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He'd uh, check out books from the library for me. So what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Ava. Hey, you think that old building's worth checking out? Maybe use the car. Just a suggestion. Sorry, you were saying? Um, oh, right. <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked them to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has Oh! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Okay, shall we pick up where we left off? Um, oh, right. Well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. So, pirate walks into a... Okay, here we go. And he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey, man, what's with the wheel? 
and the pirate says back, Ah, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Check it out, boys. What is it? You can probably see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. <laughs> hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? I can't tell. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. And especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. I'll let you look at this. Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> It's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. <laughs> 